In Steubenville, Ohio, the smell of industrial fumes filled the air. Abandoned factories lined the Ohio River. Steel became um, popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s, but with the decline of industry going into the 50s and 60s, Steubenville felt the hit. Once a thriving industrial hub for the Midwest, Steubenville is now a shell of what it once was. Its population dwindled down to around 18,000. But in the depressed town, its high school football team is a source of pride. Football is a huge deal here. Steubenville High's big red team is a powerhouse, racking up nine championships, many of them back to back. But the proud tradition has been marred with allegations of rape as two star team members prepare to fight charges that they raped a 16 year old girl. The case made national headlines once disturbing pictures and videos circulated on the web. It instantly sparked public outrage. Now even residents here question the town's football culture. It seems like there's a lot of people trying to protect these kids and I think that I don't care if you're 17 years old. I think you need to be punished like an adult if you're going to act like an adult. The two players charged are in house arrest. The trial will take place here in the Jefferson County Justice Center under intense scrutiny, especially since prosecutors haven't brought any charges against any of the students who saw and took pictures or video, but did nothing. Police Chief William McCafferty receives numerous hate messages about the case, but says his hands are tied. I'd be very disappointed if I had a son that was there that didn't report it somehow. Um, you know, I, it's, you know, it's not the police department. We can't, I mean, we simply don't have the resources to educate teenagers. It's got to start in the schools. Uh, it's got to start at home. The Ohio Attorney General's office, who took over the case after local prosecutors stepped down for having ties to the team, says charges still very well may be brought against witnesses. In an effort for full disclosure, cameras and reporters will be allowed inside the court proceedings. If convicted, the two players could be held in juvenile jail until 21. In Steubenville, Ohio, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.